Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video on Rhythm Hive, so far I just give sort of a long update on how things have been going. I've still been playing relatively a lot. A lot of this footage though was old footage from last season, just because last season I did not enjoy that much. As you can see here, like, this is just so ridiculous. This is the second time this has happened to me where I get a dupe XR card from completing the challenges. Like, that really should not be allowed. You should not be able to get a dupe XR card from completing all those missions. Like, it takes so long to complete those missions and it's like, it's just a joke that you get an XR dupe. Like, I'm just so shocked that could happen to me twice. Like, out of all the missions that I completed, still getting dupes. But, you know, it is what it is. Right now, as you can tell from a lot of the videos recently, I've been more focused on collecting concept photos. I don't really care as much about cards. I feel like I can upgrade the majority of my cards to XR if I need to. I do find that getting cards in the game is still very challenging compared to the first season. The first season was the only season where getting cards was actually relatively easy because of the mission stages being different for each member. I really wish that they would go back to that. Obviously they won't because it kind of makes the game too easy and it makes it too easy to upgrade. But I just feel now it's kind of like demotivating to never be able to get lots of spare cards to use for upgrading. Like now I have to work so hard just to get spare cards and you have to spend coins on cards which is such a waste of coins like I hate buying cards with coins I really do like it really should solely be for upgrading I wish that they would have like a discounted card pack every day that allows you to um get like let's say like 10 cards for like 2500 coins or something or like 3000 even 5000 even half price i can deal with but the price that the cards are now is just it's just unfair to think 10 cards for 10,000 coins like a thousand coins a card and most of the times you're just getting b cards yeah, I've also been buying um, movie stages. As you can see, I bought that one. That one for an hype is so good. Whenever I play in hype and mission stages, or whether I play mix challenge or live stage, it's so nice with that starship mode. It really motivates me to want to XR more of my hype and cards because I've only XR'd a few of them. I haven't like upgraded that many. Most of the XR cards I have are because of packs or because of um, doing the 20 mission thing. So, yeah, I really would appreciate um, if I could get more cards to upgrade all my games. It just it just really sucks to think that I still have the high pass, and even with the high pass, you're not even getting that many cards. Like, I wish, I don't know if all of you remember on the first season of the high pass when they gave 20 B, I think it was 20 B to A cards for the second or third level of the high pass. Like, for each member, they really need to bring that back. Like, to me, I'm paying real money to play this game, and you can't even give me good cards. Like, now they have these seven card packs that you're lucky if you get an R card from them. 
I barely even got more cards. I usually am lucky if I get like one S card from it. Like seriously, so many times I only get A cards and I'm like, this is such a waste. Like, there's part of me that's like, why do I even have the high pass anymore? Like, it would be better off if I honestly got the fan plus at this point. Like, I just feel the high pass, other than the 50 diamonds and the concept photos, the high pass is not offering me anything that I really need or want. But yeah, I've just gotten so many concept photos, but I love it. For TXT, I literally have like almost every Vim Gear concept photo. Like, literally almost every single one. I think the only one that I'm missing... is oh man i don't even know from what i can think of i have every single thing i'm pretty sure i have the original blue hour that theme i'm trying to think if i have that one i think i do for blue i'm trying to think like which one yeah i literally have every theme i have Eternal, both the eternal themes. I have both the um, star chapter themes. I have. I have the other dream chapter themes. I have all of them. Literally. It's so much easier to get stuff for TXT than it is for BTS. Like, I so... My biggest regret in this game was honestly not buying the butter-themed concept photos because now they're like... They haven't been in the store. I don't know if they're coming to the store anytime soon. I hope that they are, but I highly doubt it. I just, I don't know, it's been so long and they can't even update the concept, the My Artist or um, Artist Goods part of the store. It's so really frustrating. As well, they need to put the previous um, movie stages, the music videos, they need to put those in... in the my artist store so that you can buy them like i'd love to buy the butter music video background and the cat and dog one for txt i wish i really wish i could buy the cat and dog one i'd love that music video that would be really nice as well as buying like fever for an hype and no drunk days those two are good too I mean, I really do like these movie stages that I bought for them. They are really nice. They kind of motivate motivate me to keep playing the game because after a while, it does start to get kind of boring and repetitive playing songs, especially when you're not really getting rewarded that well from playing a song. Like, it's not like you're getting a card from like each play because cards are so expensive and then you have to watch a bunch of ads which i'm so over watching ads for this game like right now i have lots of coins as i said earlier these videos are from a while ago so my amount of coins and diamonds will be different from what i have right now but right now i have like 40k plus coins but I have no cards, so I basically can't upgrade anything, and but getting 40 cards, like that's, 40 B cards is not going to be substantially upgrading anything, so. I mean, yes, you do still get cards for doing the mission stages, but I just find it's not as enjoyable doing the mission stages anymore, because they only have the short modes up to like level 30 so after that you're having to play the whole song and it's like i don't know it just takes so long and then for the new updated quests for the weekly stages like 
the mission's objective is never one of the objectives for the quest, so it's just kind of pointless to play the missions now unless you desperately need diamonds, which I do not desperately need diamonds. I have so many. Like, but I'm trying to save them up in case um, some new console focus comes out, come out that I like. The thing with cards is that you can always get them later unless they're a special thing. And even then, if they are a special theme, a lot of the special themes I'm not a huge fan of, personally. I don't know, I just find sometimes that the concept photos that they give for the special themes are just not, not as good as I feel they could be for many of them, but they're obviously still nice, I'm just not a huge fan of them, so I definitely don't really care if I don't get the special theme cards and they usually eventually come back so it's not that big of a deal for me personally but yeah there's definitely i just wish that they would be updating the game more often with new songs and um more songs on super hard mode like there's just so many songs from each group, even though for BTS, yes, they did update Best of Me in Airplane Mode Part 2, which was definitely appreciated because those were the two songs that I wanted anyways. So, yes, I am happy with that. I know that there are definitely more BTS songs that need to be updated on the game, though, like, they literally have, like, no songs from Map of the Soul 7, they still only have On and Black Swan, and I know that there's a lot more songs that people want from Map of the Soul 7 that aren't on there. For me personally, for some reason, Map of the Soul 7, I didn't listen to that album that much. I don't really know why, because I've heard some of the songs, and I really like them, but I just never really listened to it. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know, it was like one of those weird phases where we were kind of getting into other K-pop groups at the time, so with BTS, I kind of just wasn't listening to their music as much. I still obviously love their music, but this game actually helped me to get back into their music, honestly, because before I would still listen to the songs that I really liked. But I wasn't fully exploring their discographies. That's why I really want this game to upgrade, to update, sorry, more songs because then it will basically expand their discography because I'm probably not going to check them that much on my own. But, anyways, I'm pretty sure this video is coming to a close now. We just have some final card pack openings. Um, it was nice to get that V card, but I was hoping for an R card. I actually was hoping for sugar for that special thing, but the V card is still good. Not complaining. And then we have here, and finally I was able to get BTS full XR. I ended up doing um, Most Beautiful Moments in Life Young Forever. I just felt like, for me personally, that theme overall was probably one of the best to upgrade. I just have really grown to like those songs a lot again. So, like House of Cards and um, Young Forever are really great songs that I kind of underrated. And now I absolutely love them. So. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching.